Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna do another video on how to make another server, so this one's gonna be about Spigot. And, yeah, basically I just wanna preface this with about the bucket video. So, about the bucket video, most of you said, like, it doesn't have Java downloaded. You need Java 7. So, I'll just give you a link to this page over here in the bucket and the Spigot. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna use Hamachi too. So for Spigot, it is basically a bucket, but has like these stuff, and it's supposed to be better because like bucket takes to uh, takes up most of your RAM when you're using it, but this one. If, like, there's no people on it, uses less RAM than normal. If there's a bunch of people on it, just uses, like, the same RAM, like, most of the time and stuff. And, yeah, this also runs Craft Bucket, so you can use Bucket Plugins, like, World Edit and stuff. So, to get Hamachi, you just go to this page. I'll provide a link to this page. It says Hamachi. You press Download Now download it and you should get something like this this is mine I'm on a new computer like that so most of you said that your friends couldn't join and it's probably because like they don't have Hamachi they need Hamachi to join so yeah just like create a network and then like just a little uh, uh, that then you'll see a new network over here and then give your friends that network ID and password and let them join okay so let's get started so this is Spigot I'll give you a link to this page for an overview of Spigot if you don't understand it so if you want to download it just press builds over here it even says downloads over here. Wait for it to load. And yeah, you can get either one of these. These are basically the same thing, I think. So I'll just take the first one. Keep it. I'll just move this off to the side. So now, let's make our spigot folder. Let's call this spigot. Server. Wait for that to be done downloading. Just drag it, drop it in there. So what you want to do now is you want to create a new text document. Uh, I'm just going to call it on, you know, the usual. Let's see, yeah, I should have another over here. So, yeah. Here it is over here. This is not the code. This is the craft bucket code, but it's basically the same thing. Just enter this in. What you don't need is minus O false. You can change that. Minus O false, let's mine let's mine chapter uses join, but that's only for craft bucket. So just rename craft bucket to spigot. Press save as. And go save as type all files and write dot that and then you can delete this and then rename this to spigot and now you just run your server
press, press. Right, stop. To let it generate everything. So yeah, most of you can't open the server properties if, like, you're just starting up. So just, like, double-click it. Then press Windows can't open this file. Let's see. Yeah, over here. Like, if I if this was the server properties, then it says Windows can't open this file. Then it says, what do you want to do? Press select the program. Scroll down till you find like WordPad. Then press OK. And then basically you can open your server properties. Basically, you want to just leave your server port 25565 unless you want to change it. And the server IP. Now let me just do everything. Here you can just configure this whenever you want. I recommend enable dash command dash block equals true to enable command blocks. And, okay, let's go to the server IP. So the server IP is this thing over here. Log me and Hamaji. Let's click this. Go to copy IPv4. And paste that in. Just like, <coughs> just like that. Way over here, if you want Minecraft players to join, just change this to false. Over here. You don't need that Minecraft client anymore. Save it, close. Now let's run it and test it out. See, look. If you look in here, there's some different things in Bucket. See, they have like this spigot, world settings for world, world the end, and that. So I'm just gonna log in. direct connect or you can do add server but I'm just gonna direct connect. press join and this is my server and since you're like the admin of this server what you wanna do is you just wanna go op astro well this is me see and there's proof that this is my server cause I just did that now I can go in creative mode and stuff. Oh yeah, and if you want your servers to be opt, just opt them to with the same command. So now I'm just gonna stop my server. You can just write slash stop from the game. Close your server. And to install plugins, you go to bucket plugins. Not, there's no spigot plugins. Or well, there is spigot plugins exclusively for spigot. You can get those too. But I'm just gonna show you a bucket plugin because those also work. Let's do world edit. So yeah, you know, just do the press download, press download again, it downloads for you and yeah, stuff like stuff stuff. Let's open this. Drag this off to the side and get the world edit dot jar. Open your plugins folder, and that is how you install a plugin. It's pretty simple. It's like really not that hard. Then run your server again, and you can join it again. Stuff, 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 stuff. 
back over here. Let's see if I have my world edit. Yes, I have world edit. Test this baby out. There. See, I'm gonna change this to cobble. Nope, stone, whatever. And you see, it worked. So, thank you guys for checking out my spigot tutorial. I guess that's it. And, uh, I guess, thanks for watching.